everybody. Welcome to the Oregon Zoo River Otter Habitat. My name is Julie and um, we're here today to learn about the North American River Otters. We have Miss Tilly over here showing off her stuff. Um, and we also have two other otters that we're going to have you meet here in just a minute. Um, we'd like you guys to remember at the end of meeting our otters to go down below and click the link and you're going to find some really fun uh, river otter activities to do. Yeah, so Tilly here, um, all three of our otters were orphaned, and Tilly was actually orphaned right here close um, to Portland. And she was found very small, uh, probably about three months of age, and she actually had been um, injured by a house cat. And so they had found her and taken her into a vet, and um, she actually was not able to be re-released, so we were able to give her a home here. Now I'm going to bring out the other two otters. Tilly here is 10 years of age. The other two otters are not quite one. Now when they come out, you're going to see a lot of rough and tumble and a lot of nosing. That's one of the ways they, they greet themselves. So you guys get ready to watch this. Here they come. They also eat ground meat, and then they get a, a bunch of different fun stuff, like hard-boiled eggs, bugs, and rodents, and they even eat vegetables sometimes. Evelyn wants to know how Tilly got her name. Great question, Evelyn. Well, Tilly, along with the other two here, were named after local waterways around Oregon. So Tilly is actually named after the Tillamook River. So Jimmy wants to know again, can you point out who these otters are? I can, Jenny. Alright, so over here on the far my right is Flora just catching a meatball right now with Pops. And then we got Tilly right here. Now you can see these youngsters over here are a bit squirrelier than Tilly. She's actually had a lot more training in her time here, and these guys are still kind of learning some manners. How long do you live on this? Julie, thank you for that. Um, these guys, well, in the wild, river otters only live to probably about 8 to 10 years old. But fortunately for us, in zoos, they may live into their late teens and early 20s. The fact that wants to know, why do otters have whiskers? Whiskers, well, whiskers are very important for these otters. And one of the things they do is they often have to hunt in very, very murky water. And so those whiskers actually are able to find their prey underwater. And now you can see how that can come in handy. All right, Everson, that's a really good question. So these guys can swim probably about anywhere from six to eight miles per hour. Probably much faster than me. Well, you told us about Tilly's story. Can you tell us your story about Tilly? Yeah, thanks for asking, Valkyrie. So, Hobson and Flora actually both came to us last year. And Hobbs here, he was found on a golf course outside, or inside of Midville, um, Oregon here. And he was brought in um, along with Flora, who was found down at Gold Beach. Both of them were malnourished and had some medical problems. And um, we worked with Fish and Wildlife and um, the rehab facilities that originally took them in, and they were deemed non policeable So then they were able to come and join us here with Tilly, and we were really happy to have them. Where is asking if they're in the Claire, great question. And yes, they do. Uh, so these guys, they are pretty quick, but they do have to worry about uh, things like coyotes, larger carnivores, maybe cougars, uh, and even, um, they even have to uh, kind of just really be wary of, be wary of us, because we're one of the things that can, can actually threaten them through the habitat loss. 
Andrea is asking what the ice is for. That's a really fun question. So the ice is actually, it's just something fun for them. It's kind of like if you went into your toy box, these guys would pull out a pile of ice. And so the river rotters will, are very mobile, as you can see, and they often will slide and play in the ice. And it's actually one of the ways that they're in a bunch of snow that they will rotate around. Well, the web feet really help them swim, Mackenzie, and you can kind of see that both their front and back feet are webbed, and they uh, have that really long body and those web feet, and that allows them to swim very fast through the water. Bonnie's asking how often. Well, Bonnie, you can get fed anywhere from maybe three to five times a day. And, and you can see just how squirrely they are. They have a very high metabolism, so they eat quite a bit of food. Annie is asking if uh, they don't eat food. Oh, thanks, Annie. Yes, they actually will get different things. Um, they get a lot of different varieties of fish, and they have even gotten live salmon. So Jaden is asking, what's the difference between a sea otter and a river otter? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, thanks, Jaden. Uh, well, a couple things um, are different, but sometimes it's hard to tell. A sea otter is much larger than the river otter. So this river otter here, Tilly, she weighs probably about 20 pounds. A female sea otter might weigh closer to like 40 or 50 pounds, so about double the size. Also, you see how long Tilly's tail is? River otters have very long tails compared to their body size, where sea otters don't really have that. Do, do river otters make good pets? They do not make good pets. <laughs> not all they are, they're pretty stinky. These guys are wild animals and, and they behave as such. So they do not make good pets. They got very big teeth. Want to open? Open? I guess no, not going to do it. All right. Can't see their teeth, but they do have big teeth. <laughs> So, where do the river otters live in Oregon? Well, we are very fortunate here in Oregon to have um, quite a bit of uh, places for river otters. They can live anywhere from mountains to the coast in both fresh and marine ecosystems. So you can find them in rivers, streams, marshes, and estuaries. Uh, Myla is asking how many babies does a river otter have at a time? Thank you, Myla. Yeah. Thank you, Myla. Um, so river otters tend to have two to three babies at a time, but they can, can have anywhere from one to six. Kate's just asking me because I think this before. So why do river otters run the ice so much? <laughs> Well, Kate, it's, it's actually, it's kind of like a toy to them. And so they like to um, kind of roll around in it, and uh, we often will hide fish in there. Uh, but like I said earlier, earlier uh, these guys, because they are able to slide when they move, sometimes they actually will even use snow or ice as a way to move much faster. So Aiden's asking uh, how old they all are. Great question, Aiden. So right here we have Tilly. Tilly? was born in 2009, so she is actually going to be 10 this year, so 11 this year. <laughs> and these two up down here, Hobbs and Flora, they're not quite one year of age. So Chloe's asking, and it's a good time, what are the river otter's toys? Great question, Chloe. Well, I just threw out a piece of car wash. Now, if anybody has ever been to a car wash with your family, uh, that's exactly what I just put out here, and this is one of the things that they like to roll around in, um, wrap up in, swim with, and it's actually one of the ways that they dry out their fur. I also have a couple other things here if you want to see. I got a ball. More ball. I also got some bugs. Bugs are really fun. Not quite toys, but they're delicious. Kate was asking, why do they sometimes stand up on their, on their hind legs? That's a really fun question, Kim. So these guys, 
when they stand up like that, they're able to really see what's going, along, going on. So it's one of the ways that they can kind of look a little bit further than um, what they can see at their low level. So we have a question about their hands. Mm -hmm. They're pretty dexterous. Uh, how are they able to hold stuff so well? Great question. So their hands are very dexterous. And as you can see, I'll see if I can get them to kind of hold that we do. They kind of can really just um, grab onto that and manipulate items. And they're really good at that. And that just helps them with their prey. So when you're catching a fish, you can see they probably will catch it with their mouth, but they really want to use those claws and hang on to it so they can eat it. What are some ways people can help river otters? That's a really good question. So these guys really need uh, clean water. And so one of the ways that you can help is by uh, helping to pick up trash and possibly even volunteering at one of the places around Portland, things like the Wetland Conservancy or SOLVE, they do a lot of different river cleanups. And keeping a clean waterway is a sure way to keep these guys healthy and around. Wyatt's asking, do they eat only green or some kind of vegetables? <laughs> Wyatt, that's funny. Yes, they actually do eat vegetables. One of the things we um, give them here is sweet potato and carrots. And sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't. But these guys out in the wild, they sometimes, they're mostly carnivores, but occasionally if they came across the berry or something like that, they probably wouldn't munch on it. Jackie's asking about the counter shading. How come they have a darker color on their back and a lighter green on their back? Well, that's a great question. So, you can imagine if they were swimming in the water and something was looking down at them, they probably wouldn't see them very well because that dark color is water and their dark back. And the same goes for underneath. So if there's a fish or something below them, when you're looking up from underwater, you see light. And so their bellies are nice and light. And that would help out as well. So we have a question about do the water the river water have their eyes open or closed when they're swimming in the water? Oh, that's a fun question. So these guys actually do have their eyes open. And they do have an extra eyelid that kind of helps protect them in the water. And they can kind of swim around and look, and look at for all fish. We also had a question, Julie, about how you became a zookeeper. Well, being a zookeeper is, is really amazing. And what I did was I actually went to school for um, zoology. However, I also did a lot of volunteering. And so the zoo does have a program for volunteering, both for teens and for adults. And it's one of the really good ways to get into it and know if, you, if this is really what you want to do. Why do they have such sharp teeth? 
Good question, Lucas. Well, these guys are out there and they are catching fish and sometimes eating like crustaceans, which are like uh, crawdads or crabs. And so those really sharp teeth help out with that. Katie was asking, are they related to stuff? Yes, Katie, they are. And Misha and Kaden want to know what other special treats are. <laughs> oh, Misha and Kaden, that is, well, they probably like about as much as you guys like for special treats. Um, but they may not be the same. So some of the things we like to give them are earthworms. They love hard-boiled eggs. Uh, they also will get different types of live fish, and live fish is really fun for them to swim around and catch them. Uh, they'll get crab and krill, and they even sometimes get blueberries, which are really fun, and they even like them, um, sometimes they munch on flowers. Lily is asking where they sleep. Great question, Lily. So these guys have what's called a, a den. And they create their dens usually right along the riverbanks that have kind of an opening you know, into the water and an opening that it goes onto the land. And that's a real good way that they can escape. Now our otters have a, a viewing den for when you come visit them at the zoo. And it usually is filled with this car wash material and they kind of uh, just make a big old bed. That's where they sleep. So we're going to take one last question that's from Stella. And she wants to know what kind of sounds do river otters make? <laughs> All right, Stella, good question. So these guys, um, they make a lot of different sounds. And um, one of the ones that is my favorite is, is, a, is a greeting, or um, it's kind of like a honk. And it, it goes honk, 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 just like that. And so you can, maybe you and your friends can greet each other. That way from that one. <laughs> but they also do screams, grunts, growls. And, and the babies actually chirp very loud, and that way their mom can hear them. All right. Well, thank you guys today for joining us here at the River Otter Exhibit. We really enjoyed having you. Once again, um, remember to go down below and click the link to lead you to some fun otter activities. And if you can, it would be great if you could uh, post some of your photos of you doing the activities and hashtag Oregon Zoo. We would love to see it. And we really hope you guys are um, out there being otter champions and uh, keep these guys around for a long time. Thank you so much.